Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Very intense times with the war. Mars is about to transit in Scorpio. What is Mars? Mars is the planet of fire, anger, aggression, passion, a sense of commitment, duty, responsibility, the aggressive side of it primarily. And now he's going to transit in Scorpio. Now, what is Scorpio? Scorpio is the sign ruled by Mars, as you know, and Scorpio is the sign of intensity. Okay. Scorpio is actually Smashan, it's the graveyard where the moon gets debilitated. Okay. It's the Nesargic, the original eighth sign, or you could also say uh, the eighth house. So, eighth house is where things go to die. Now, when Mars is transiting Scorpio, what does it mean? Something uh, bad will happen or somebody is going to die. Well, death is an unfortunate reality of this material world and nobody can change it. But when Mars transits Scorpio, you will see things that will be finished. Now, what will be finished? Well, old patterns, things which are actually not serving anybody people will realize a lot of things that which they think were actually good or which they think they should have actually supported uh, but they're not giving any they're not doing any good to society in fact they are doing more harm all right so what it will be and to what extent well that will depend on in the individual's horoscopes but in general you will see a lot of old things that will start uh, finishing and ending okay even in your life and in the geopolitical order also okay all right so let's uh, jump into the ascendance so <clears throat> let's talk of aries so what's going on with aries so with aries mars as you know is your lagna lord and also the eighth lord he's gonna transit your eighth house so tremendous time for transformation please no excuses all right just one word for you transformation which means check each and every area of your life so for aries mars is very important because he's the lagnesh so he represents everything in your life okay so what are those things which you know which you should kick out of your life but you're not doing it out of laziness well sir madam uh, now is the time you got to do it okay uh, it's not good to hear but there are things uh, eighth house can also be sadhana sometimes if you sit and meditate you go deep into yourself you will find some voice within which says ah this is nonsense i shouldn't do it all right so uh, kick out everything kick out uh, things bad habits and kick out also people from your life now what do i mean by kick out people does it mean you just uh, <laughs> go and kick somebody out of your life no it doesn't mean that it means you have to uh, see and reduce the contact with people who uh, lower your energy okay who are envious who are um, driving you into lower habits which are not uh, for your good you need to distance yourself from those people and you need to understand that uh, your life will be much better off without them all right so all the best taurus taurus lagna what's going on seventh lord twelfth lord seventh lord very interesting mool trikon rashi is in the twelfth house right this transit in your seventh house now seventh house is partnerships uh business deals um, yeah seventh house is anything which you do with other people so depending on your Mahadasha and Tardasha, if uh, this transit is uh, support, if your Dashas are supportive, then this transit can give you some uh, opportunity for some business trips in your foreign lands, provided the 10th house is active in your Dashas or the 6th or the 11th or 2nd could also do, but primarily the 10th and the 11th. And Mars is now transiting your 7th house as the 7th Lord. So this is also a good time to see what is going on in your marriage okay so if you are married then you need to check what are some of the things which you and your your, your spouse both of you are doing which is actually destroying your marriage okay so mars transiting seventh is a great time to improve your communication skills within your marriage so communicate your expectations and also communicate your limitations many times people say oh this is my expectation but what about you sir madam 
you also are uh, you are also supposed to fulfill others expectations but you have limitations so convey that also all right okay so for gemini sixth lord 11th lord transiting your sixth house very interesting time because this is the best period to find a new job or uh, trying to do something on a habitual basis okay so mars and six can destroy your enemies so if you have um, some competitors who you feel uh, that they are trying to steal your ideas or they are trying to steal your credit then now is the time that you should beef up your uh, capacity uh, be more seen in the limelight and yeah try your best to assert your own ideas and your own thoughts and also try to try to not just do things you know the problem with mars in sixth is you become very obsessed with doing things but you have to understand that just you won't get paid just for doing things you know you get paid for delivering results okay so if you just do things and you don't bring results, so whenever you are if you want to ask your boss for a promotion then first you have to understand that the work that you have done in last one two years which makes you feel you are eligible for a promotion is it just that you have done it or have you actually made an impact in the company okay so if not then maybe not the best time to ask but if you feel you have made a tangible contribution well then great do it all the best so for cancer fifth lord tenth lord transiting the fifth house excellent time for mantra sadhana excellent time for uh, going into hobbies uh, or you could also try to monetize some of your hobbies okay fifth lord in uh, in fifth uh, and also the tenth lord in fifth so try and see what you can monetize now i'm not saying that you have to monetize but in case you feel that you have some skill which everybody appreciates and which everybody says that oh you are good at this and you should do it no then maybe it's the best time for you to um maybe do it also for other people all right so it may not be like a full-fledged business but maybe uh, you can earn some money from it it can be like a side hustle and mars in fifth um you could do a lot of sports a lot of energy a lot of vitality you know a lot of now uh, enthusiasm in your life uh, good for your love life also maybe if your dashas are supportive you might also um, meet into some meet somebody who you might start a relationship with okay but because he's the 10th lord primarily because the mool trikon rashi is in the 10th house so this might have to do more with hobbies and uh, money okay so it's a good time uh, check your passions hobbies and your side hustles all right all the best so for leo fourth and ninth lord mool trikon rashi is in the ninth house transit is in the fourth house so very interesting because mars is also one of the karakas for the fourth house because he's the karaka for land and property and all this you know very important now for you he is also the ninth lord now whenever you combine the fourth house and the ninth house you will always see that there is something to do with education because both are primarily the houses of education okay so now mars aspects uh, your seventh your tenth and your eleventh from the fourth so mars is telling you that now you have to upgrade yourself upgrade your skill sets to go to the next level which means you have to see what are the skills which you are lacking in your profession why are you not growing in life see for 10th house is external achievements but now mars is directly opposite of it so mars is like oh maybe rather than external achievements i need to see why am i losing out in life okay in certain areas of life in in my profession why am i losing out on achievements why am i losing out on opportunities why am i losing out on new technologies so Um, do whatever it takes to bring you to the next level and then you will be successful all right all the best so for virgo third lord eighth lord transiting the third house incredible time third house uh, is one of the best placements for mars to be in okay why do i say this because a uh, third house is a place where you actually understand that 
oh yeah i need to do more in life and i can do more in life okay so this is very interesting because the third house can actually tell you that you are much more capable of yourself uh, doing things than you think of yourself okay so uh, if you feel that you are lacking courage in life then now is the time you should go extra mile you know hit the gym and do some exercise do some workout you know cultivate some discipline and go the extra way because third house is the house of courage and mars in third will inspire you to be courageous but what you should not forget is mars is primarily the eighth lord because mool trikon rashi is in the eighth house so the eighth lord transiting the third is a very good time for you to actually focus on where you should put your courage because the eighth house forces you to introspect and see you know what the hell is going on in your life okay so if you feel that um you are just randomly doing things you know so you you need to channelize you need to have a good guidance from somebody who can actually tell you where you are going wrong okay so therefore please channelize your energies properly and you will be very successful all right all the best all right so for libra libra lagna second lord seventh lord in the second house primarily mars is your seventh lord because aries is in the seventh house so this is very interesting because the second and the seventh these are houses of marriage family you know could be in laws also so it could be possible that there is some issue which will come up in context of the family and the in laws and you know you have to cater to it or maybe there is no issue coming up but it's a good time to focus on them okay so maybe you can uh, check out on your parents i'm sure you do it every day or every alternate day uh, and also to your in laws but nonetheless now the seventh lord is transiting the second which means you are bringing in the values of your own marriage into your existing family okay now second house is family of any kind but nonetheless because he is the seventh lord so he shows specifically marriage okay so maybe there is some issue uh, between your spouse and your parents and you are trying to settle it out okay but nonetheless this is a good time to actually spend time uh, thinking of your net worth also because the second house shows net worth okay uh, but the seventh house shows more of uh, the marital stuff okay so therefore uh, improve your marriage uh, focus on your family and also take a note on your net worth okay thank you all right scorpio lagna lord transiting your lagna but he is also your sixth lord and primarily because aries is the mool trikon rashi which is in your sixth house so sixth lord transiting lagna lagnesh transiting lagna life is changing for you life is completely changing okay you have a new life whenever lagnesh transits the lagna new life is beginning hard work is on cards so just for aries lagnesh was transiting is is going to transit in their eighth so even for you scorpio mars is the aries and for you it's even more important because your lagnesh is coming back to the lagna itself okay so work hard cultivate discipline and see where are you missing out in life if there are certain things which certain habits especially mars has a lot to deal with habits if there are certain habits which you know is not good then try to reduce them try to limit them and if you know that there are certain habits which you should cultivate then try your best to do them okay try your best to become a better version of yourself be your best version and a planet in the lagna aspects the seven so also see how your interactions are with other people so essentially six lord transiting lagna every area of life is important and focus and try to regain control of your life all right if you feel your life is going out of control then regain control all the best so sagittarius fifth lord 12th lord mars transits your 12th house well uh, depending on your chart if your chart is supportive uh, during this mahadasha antardasha Um, then you might run into somebody who you would enter a love relationship with 
or maybe some of your uh, children your son your daughter or somebody uh, or your some subordinate some junior in your company may be going abroad for some reason okay uh, but what you also need to understand is the fifth house also shows creativity so fifth lord transiting the 12th shows that you are now determined to pursue your creativity at a deeper level at a stronger level so for example you like to talk to people maybe you can open a channel in youtube and you can also um, spend some money on it because 12th house is also expenses okay and as the 12th lord transiting the 12th these will be like good expenses so business expenses okay these are not like a wasteful expenditure okay so a very good time for you to focus on your inner passions and hobbies and do them more uh, do them more seriously okay just don't do it superficially in the weekends you know why not do it every day okay because that is what makes you you actually all right all the best so for capricorn very 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 interesting time fourth lord 11th lord transiting the 11th now depending on your chart if you are running the supportive mahadasha and antardasha you might go for a property purchase because the fourth house is the house of property and 11th house is the gain so gain of property okay <clears throat> so very 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 interesting transit because the 11th house is the fulfillment of desire house so when mars transits the 11th you may get a bit obsessed with your desires and you may do wrong things sometimes okay so please make sure that whatever you do they are in line with the scriptural codes and the government laws okay don't break the law necessarily because now if you break the law then mars from the 11th is also aspecting your uh, sixth house with the eighth aspect okay so then you might run into trouble but nonetheless uh, it's a great time for knowledge education also because the fourth house also shows knowledge and education and primarily for property purchase or it could be vehicles also if you are running venus dasha okay uh, but just because you are running venus uh, it doesn't mean you will buy a vehicle you could also buy property depends on the chart okay but primarily this is how you can understand all right so great time utilize this energy fulfill your desires but be in your limits all right thank you aquarius the best period why because mars is transiting your 10th house what happens when mars transits 10th house he gets dig bali okay which means he becomes extremely powerful which which means he can exert himself to the best capacity so if you want to actually take charge of your profession your name fame power position status authority now is the time see the date is still 27 december so it's like almost 40 days right so now is the time you should stop giving excuses these 40 days if you want to crack some interview why do i say interview because mars is also your third lord third third lord transiting the 10th best time for interviews okay so incredible time to present yourself okay so presentation third lord in 10th is like whatever you present uh, people appreciate that you become famous because of your work the display okay third house is the display and 10th house is the fame so if you want to take up some big seminar or some webinar and uh, earn money and uh, do some online teaching perfect time for this okay so the best time for you aquarius and utilize it properly for your profession all the best Pisces last as usual last but not the least second lord ninth lord transiting the ninth house mm -hmm. very interesting what is the second house the second house shows so many things you know like family uh, relationships marriage and what is the ninth house ninth house is also your dharma and marriage is also a part of your dharma you know like serving your mother father your spouse your children so maybe now is a time for you to focus a bit on your family and see 
how you can uh, inculcate some spiritual wisdom in them okay but before that you have to inculcate that within yourself why because you cannot give something which you don't have right so if mars is your ninth lord and he's also transiting your ninth then maybe it's the best time for you to cultivate some spiritual wisdom among yourselves and then you can go and give this wisdom to others and when you do this then you will realize that you are following your dharma and so are your family members okay so and also just following dharma does not mean you just keep doing religious activities i i don't mean that religion and dharma are very different religion is a part of the larger dharma but dharma in this context can also mean that you are engaging your family members as per their own inclinations and propensities okay so try to get a checklist of the people that you have in your family and are they engaged properly in their life in their profession and also in their family life and also cultivate spiritual wisdom among yourself and among them also all right all the best